It was Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States, that famously said, what counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. And he was right. As you're about to see, these dogs fight is beyond belief. They can be ferocious. Puggy Smalls is a pet influencer, a pug whose popularity reflects the breed's increasing demand. And on many occasions, these powerful pooches have found themselves swimming in hot water. So to speak, some breeds' bites are way worse than their bark, which means big trouble. Some of these dogs are even banned. 15 most illegal dog breeds in the world. <laughs> Number 15. Doggo Argentino. They're large, powerful, and athletic with a strong head, a thick body which is sustained by straight, substantial forelegs and very muscular hindquarters. They'll even take on a lion. The bulky breed of dog was developed in Argentina, primarily for the purpose of big game hunting after all. It gives the impression of explosive power and energy, developed to find, chase, and catch dangerous game. Their expression is alert and intelligent, with a hardness you can't easily ignore. In 1928, a medical doctor, professor, and surgeon set out to breed a big game hunting dog that was also capable of being a loyal pet and guard dog. He picked the Cordoba fighting dog to be the base for the breed. This breed is extinct today, but it was said that, as a large and ferocious dog, it was a great hunter. The doggo Argentino will work individually or in packs. It also has successfully been used in police protection work because it's an intelligent and courageous dog with a strong, natural instinct to protect. An unsteady temperament is a serious fault. The doggo makes a strong distinction between familiar people and strangers, so it's imperative that it's well trained. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Pitbull Pitbulls have a controversial reputation as both pets in the United States and internationally. Due to their history in dogfighting, the number of high-profile attacks documented in the media, and their proclivity to latching on while biting. Because of this, breed-specific legislation is a blanket term for laws that regulate or ban certain dog breeds in an effort to decrease dog attacks on humans and other animals. The laws are also called pit bull bans for obvious reasons. These dogs can be unpredictable. Fans of the breed and advocates of regulations have engaged in a nature versus nurture debate over whether apparent aggressive tendencies in pit bulls may be blamed on owners. Yet numerous pit bull advocacy groups have sprung up in defense of these powerful dogs. Some studies have argued that they're not disproportionately dangerous. On the other hand, the statistics are based on hospital records showing pit bulls are responsible for more than half of dog bite incidents among all breeds. Some insurance companies will not cover pit bulls because of this. Yet many families stand behind their beloved pitties and they continue to be a popular choice for dog lovers. Number 13. Neapolitan Mastiff The Italian breed of dog descends from the traditional guard dogs of central Italy. As you can see, they're a large and powerful dog, with a weight in the range of 110 to 150 pounds and a height between 2 and 3 feet. Their skin is abundant and loose, particularly on the head where it hangs in the heavy wrinkles. Could the puppies be any cuter? But don't be fooled, when they grow up, the Neapolitan Mastiff is a huge, powerful garter whose astounding appearance has intimidated intruders since the days of ancient Rome. And yet, the breed's inner dignity and nobility can only be described as beautiful. While most adults of the breed are calm animals who sleep a lot, puppies are as active, curious, cute, and cuddly as the most winsome toy puppy. And many people find that the adolescent Neapolitan, when awake, is as energetic and powerful as they come. It's important to train them young so that when dealing with the strong, stubborn teenage personality trait, the appropriate hierarchy is already in place. Neapolitans do not respond well to harsh training and need an encouraging and rewarding atmosphere. Be patient and consistent. By the age of three or four, most Neapolitans demonstrate desirable laid-back behavior. Number 12. Tosa Inu If you imagine a dog as a massive sumo wrestler, you get the Tosa Inu. The funny thing is that the Tosa dogs have a lot in common with the Japanese wrestler. It fights, remains quiet unless spoken to, and is always alert. In fact, a Tosa can battle for hours at a stretch without uttering a sound. 
with amazing stamina that few species can match. Chances are the Tosa wins. It's no wonder that many people regard this aggressive behavior as extremely unnerving. As many as 14 countries around the world, such as the UK, Denmark, and Australia, have banned this dog breed. It comes across as intimidating, both physically and mentally. Add aggression to the list and you'll have a dog eager to jump into a fight. The overall consensus in Japan regarding this dog remains mixed. Some breeders have been making an effort to bring out the positive characteristics, while others breed for the biggest, baddest fighters. Size does matter. As you can see, they're huge. Combined with powerful jaws and scissor-sharp teeth, unstoppable. The Tosa Inu is not a very friendly dog and can be downright aggressive without proper socialization and obedience training. Even with years of training, they can still show hostility towards other dogs and people. Number 11. Doberman Pinscher This incomparably fearless and vigilant breed stands proudly among the world's finest protection dogs. They're sleek and powerful, possessing both a magnificent physique and keen intelligence. The Doberman Pinscher is known as the nobleman of the dog world. These elegant qualities, combined with a wedge-shaped head and an easy, athletic way of moving, have earned them a reputation as royalty in the canine kingdom. Not to brag, a well-conditioned Doberman on patrol will deter most intruders. Originally bred in Germany as a protector and companion, the Doberman Pinscher has since become seen as a working dog everywhere from junkyards to private homes to police forces. A large dog breed, Dobies stand more than two feet tall, with females usually topping out around 26 inches and male pups closer to 28. They pack a lot of muscle into those frames, giving them a slender but deceptively heavy build. Males can reach around 100 pounds. They're intelligent, active, and adaptable dogs who are happiest when they're with their family. Dobermans are deeply loyal and courageous animals, and while they're still one of the most popular watchdogs in the world, Dobermans have long become known as loyal, loving family pets. Number 10. Rottweilers some Rottweilers are serious dogs, while others are happy-to-go-lucky clowns. But in general, the Rottweiler tends to respond quietly and with a wait-and-see attitude to influences in the environment, like strange sounds and sights. But that doesn't change the fact that Rottweilers are robust working breeds of great strength, descended from the Mastiffs of the Roman legions. A male will stand anywhere from 24 to 27 muscular inches at the shoulder. Females run a bit smaller and lighter. This muscular dog needs some space and exercise, brisk daily walks, interactive play, and regular opportunities to stretch out and run. Rottweilers must be thoroughly socialized at an early age so that their territorial instincts are subdued. They can be aggressive with other dogs, and while many of them live peacefully with the family cat, others are predatory towards them. Most are inclined toward dominance and will test for the position in the family pecking order but they'll respect an assertive owner, a gentle playmate and protector within the family circle. It's their world and we're just living in it. Number 9. Fila Brasileiro The Fila Brasileiro, or Brazilian Mastiff, is a large working breed of dog developed in Brazil. They're thought to descend from European dogs brought to Brazil many, many years ago. And yes, they've been banned in several countries. It's known for its superb tracking ability, aggressiveness, and an unforgiving temperament. Rather than attacking its prey, it traps it and waits for the hunter to arrive. Owing to these qualities, they're used as a guard dog, a cattle dog for livestock, and as a hunting dog for tracking and controlling large game. They were bred and raised primarily on large plantations and cattle farms where they originated. These skilled protectors are not the breed for everyone, however. The best situation is rural living on a substantial property. They love country life. They're not usually happy in the city or suburbs. If you enjoy an active social life and like to invite people over to your home frequently, this is not the breed for you either. But with the right owner, they're nearly unmatched for loyalty and devotion. In fact, the breed even sparked the saying, faithful as a filla. So you have a friend in the filla, so to speak, and a very protective one. Number 8. Cane Corso the Corso's lineage goes back to ancient Roman times and the breed's name roughly translates from the Latin as bodyguard dog. Throughout its early history, the Cane Corso acted as a guard dog, war dog, and skilled hunter of various game. At nearly 28 inches at the shoulder and often weighing more than 100 pounds, with a large head, alert expression, and muscles ripping beneath their short, stiff coat, these dogs are intimidating. 
their imposing appearance is their first line of defense against intruders. Smart, trainable, and of noble bearing, the assertive and confident Kane Corso is a loyal protector. Despite its appearance, which some might find intimidating, it can be affectionate and gentle. This breed will bond deeply with its family, and with proper handling and socialization, they can get along with children well. However, children must also be taught how to behave around these dogs and never be left unsupervised. They're intelligent, eager to please, and intensely loyal to their humans, but are also assertive and willful. As with any other big guardian dog, responsible breeding and early socialization with people and other dogs is vital. Number 7. Wolf Dog Wolves can interbreed with dogs and their offspring are capable of producing offspring themselves. Although hybrids can occur naturally in the wild, they're rare because the territorial nature of wolves leads them to protect their home ranges from intruding canines, such as dogs, coyotes, and other wolves. But it happens. Wolf dogs or wolf dog hybrids are very controversial and laws and regulations concerning them vary from place to place. In some places, such as Czechoslovakia, the wolf dog is recognized as a breed and registered as one by local authorities. However, about 40 states in the U.S. ban the owning and breeding of wolf hybrids. The regulations even vary from one country to another. But what exactly is a wolf dog? Generally, it's a hybrid of a wolf with a domestic canine. It's emerging called admixture, and occurrences in the wild have been detected in many populations scattered throughout Europe and North America usually occurring in areas where wolf populations have declined. Admixture between domestic dogs and other subspecies of gray wolves are the most common wolf dogs since dogs and gray wolves are considered the same species, are genetically very close, and have shared vast portions of their ranges for millennia. Number 6. Pugs Ah yes, Pugs, the star of every coffee shop patio and adored at dog parks, these cute dogs get a lot of attention. Flat-faced breeds of dogs like Pugs and French Bulldogs have grown in popularity over the past decade or so, making up 20% of dogs in the country in the United Kingdom alone. But there's also some controversy regarding these popular pups. The increased popularity of these dog breeds has led to poor breeding techniques, causing these pooches to develop nasty health defects. Animal advocates have called for a strict crackdown on the poor breeding of these dogs, which could in turn lead to a ban on these pups say it isn't so. Because the pug lineage stretches so far back, their early history is a little murky. Most believe that the breed originated in China and existed before 400 BC. Buddhist monks kept pugs as pets in Tibetan monasteries. Emperors of China kept pugs as lap dogs and treated them to all of the luxuries of royal life. Sometimes the pampered pooches were given their own mini palaces and guards. Pugs are excellent pets because of their adaptable personality. Whether you like to stay at home or enjoy the outdoors, the little dogs will be up for anything. Bred to be companions, their favorite place is right by your side. Number 5. Akita Akitas have been around for thousands of years, so their exact origins are murky. The dogs, originally known as Snow Country Dogs, were first used to track game during hunts. By the mid-1800s, as a response to a population boom in rural areas, their role had expanded to include the protection of family homes. They're burly heavy bone dogs of imposing stature. Standing up to two and a half feet at the shoulder, Akitas have a dense coat that comes in several colors. The head is broad and massive, and the erect ears and dark shining eyes contribute to their expression of alertness, a hallmark of the breed. Of ancient Japanese lineage, they're famous for their dignity, courage, and loyalty. They're family protectors and symbols of good health, happiness, and long life. Wary of strangers and often intolerant of other animals, Akitas will gladly share their silly, affectionate side with family and friends. They thrive on human companionship, but the large, independent, thinking dog is hardwired for protecting those they love. That said, don't think of your Akita's aggressiveness as a done deal. You can combat his or her natural possessiveness early on by socializing them as puppies. Number 4. Alaskan Malamutes the Alaskan Malamute is a dog that's strikingly similar to the Siberian Husky. The main difference is that the Alaskan Malamute is much larger than their Husky wolf-like counterparts. These dogs can weigh almost 90 pounds and stand 26 inches tall, so they're quite large and powerful. An immensely strong, heavy-duty worker, it's affectionate, loyal, and playful, recognizable by its well-furred plumed tail carried over the back and substantial bone structure. 
Unfortunately, this dog is still on the list of dangerous dogs because of their powerful bite and willingness to use it against others. Males are pack animals, and in your family pack, the leader must be you. If a male doesn't respect you, he'll wind up owning you instead of the other way around. Firm but loving training should begin in early puppyhood. They're also highly energetic, and they love jumping around and getting into mischief. Unfortunately, these dogs are not known for yielding to the wishes of their owners, so they have to be trained well. That said, a well-behaved one is a joy to be with. Playful, gentle, friendly, and great with kids too. Number 3. Prisa Canarillo Among the most powerful and imposing dog breeds on earth is this. Prisas are obedient and docile with family members, and they're very devoted to their master but can be suspicious of strangers. This breed is widely considered to make for a loyal pet and a first-rate guard dog when raised properly, but it also has a reputation as a fearsome fight dog with an aggressive streak when it's not well trained. Unfortunately, their attacks are known to happen. You could be bitten by a dog of any breed, but some breeds are more prone to violence and aggression than others. This is one such breed. These dogs have a reputation as being strong-willed and difficult to control. This reputation is enhanced by their appearance. They're large, muscular, and powerful dogs that can look extremely intimidating. They were originally bred as work dogs. They were used as protectors, standing guard over farms on the Canary Islands in Spain. In this role, their job was to protect and herd cattle, as well as kill any wild animals trying to prey on the farm stock. Number 2. Rhodesian Ridgeback The Rhodesian Ridgeback is known as the all-purpose Renaissance Hound, whose hallmark is the ridge or stripe of backward growing hair on its back. Though the breed was made famous in its native Africa for its skill at tracking, today Ridgebacks are cherished family dogs whose owners must be prepared to deal with their independence and their strong drive to catch prey. It's a whole lot of hound. Ridgebacks are fast and powerful athletes who can weigh between 70 and 85 pounds, and oftentimes more. Ridgebacks are very intelligent dogs, so respond well to positive, reward-based training from an early age. They get bored easily if they're not challenged enough. Still, a Ridgeback can be too much hound for the novice dog owner. The formidable Ridgeback can be strong-willed, independent, and sometimes domineering. But they're a natural watchdog and can be wary of people they don't know. Yet, they're faithful friends, protecting of their loved ones and affectionate with whom they trust. As with every dog, consistency is key. You'll need to be very patient and take things slowly at first, but if you put in the time and effort, your Ridgeback will grow into the lovely, well-behaved family dog you always wanted. Number 1. Staffordshire Bull Terrier Commonly called the Staffy or Stafford, it's a short-haired, purebred dog breed that originated in the black country of Staffordshire in the English Midlands. It's been generally agreed by authorities that the Stafford's earliest beginnings trace back centuries to mastiff types when the old bulldogs were closely linked and used for bull and bear baiting which required large dogs in the 100 to 120 pound range. Staffies make great family pets. They're gentle, affectionate dogs that absolutely adore people and add happiness to many households. But just like any dog in the wrong hands or with a bad experience, they can become troubled or aggressive. Because of that, many countries have restricted the ownership of this breed. German, Switzerland, and Bermuda Islands have banned the ownership of this breed, and Staffies still resemble the pugnacious brawlers who once ruled. England's fighting pits, but today's responsible breeders are producing sweet-natured, family-oriented Staffies. On the bright side, for his brawling past, the muscular but agile dog retains the traits of courage, tenacity, and overall sweetness. Happily, good breeding transformed this former gladiator into a mild, playful companion with a special feel for kids. It's a dog's life, and we can't get enough of them. They don't call them man's best friend for nothing. So, be our best friend and like and subscribe. There are more great videos coming up that you have to see to believe.